I used to work for a conservation NGO in Vietnam and I saw the power for good that the EU can be as a large trading bloc. It means that when we're buying fish or wood from developing countries, we know where it's come from. We know that it hasn't had a negative environmental impact and it's had a positive social impact. I think that's really important. On the 23rd, I'm going to be voting Green, a Remain party, because across Europe, the Greens are a powerful voice. I hope people will go out and vote, and I hope they'll vote Remain, and I hope they'll vote Green. I just turned 18, so I'll be voting in this EU election. I've got my polling card here. Um, and being able to vote uh, has really inspired me to look into politics and really be informed so I can make my own decision and make a good decision as well. Uh, and think about things like the environment and climate change and um, uh, voting for who I think would do the best job at fighting climate change. I'll be voting for parties in support of staying in the European Union uh, next week, 23rd of May, uh, largely because I remember what it was like before we joined what was then called the Common Market. Europe was a very foreign place. Uh, travel was awkward, business was very difficult, and uh, there was that lack of sort of integration that we have, which we've got, we've gained over the last 40 years. I can't believe that we're going to throw that away. It's, uh, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Um, young people would definitely, their horizons would be restricted. Uh, and not to mention other, other factors such as uh, environmental legislation, which is quite robust in Europe. Uh, and I'm not convinced it would be as, as robust if we were outside the Union, the European Union. Anyway, that's my, that's my thinking. And I will definitely be voting uh, in support of parties uh, wishing to remain in the European Union. It'd be good to go back. Back to when the Brexit debates didn't ruin your Sunday lunch. Back to when being a sports team meant you could speak about anything and Brexit didn't send a trench right through the middle of your friendships. It'd be good to go back to when we were a united kingdom, like at the 2012 Olympics where we were proud. It'd be good to go back to when the only division between young and old people was how hard it really was back in the day. On May the 23rd, It'd be good to go back to being a united Britain and a united Europe. There are many different ways to come at this question of voting in the EU elections and uh, we've all heard so many arguments back and forth. But for me, the critical issue of the day is climate change, because if we can't solve this crisis um, and set ourselves on a more sustainable path and pretty much everything else becomes irrelevant. So for me, that has to be the top priority. I don't see it as a question just for today or our generation, but really of, of humanity and whether we can redesign how we live so that it doesn't impact on future generations and kill off nature and the rest of the planet, because that's not a world any of us can live in. So my vote for this EU election um, will be going towards remaining in the EU, because I think that working across nations um, in cooperation with, nation, with other nations, levelling the playing field within the EU is all good and it strengthens our voice in the rest of the world, trying to bring up high standards um, and do thing, doing things really well so that we can um, have clean beaches, clean bathing water, cleaner rivers, tackle pollution and, and working you know, across boundaries because these problems don't respect boundaries or, um, or borders. These are global issues. So I really want to work um, collectively and towards the future of the planet as a whole. I'm an engineer and I work in renewable energy. And the European Union funded part of my higher education. And so in my 20s I went to Ireland and I studied for a PhD. I studied alongside other engineers and scientists from across Europe. Uh, and those people have gone on to build renewable projects, renewable energy projects, um, that are creating the zero carbon power future uh, that we all need. They've also created an economy. And in 2017, the UK benefited from its low carbon electricity economy with 12.3 billion pounds worth of turnover and having over 32,000 jobs. The EU continues to be a forum for leadership and it's setting targets 
and it's investing in wind power and solar and energy storage and in the grid and the electrical grid is going to change so that we can actually have a low carbon future with a greater amount of renewables. Today I'm going to be posting my, my vote in the EU elections and I'm going to be voting for a Remain party and I've chosen the Green Party.